Hello guys and welcome to a tutorial video. Uh, this video is about the error, um, no, the, the bug in PMDG Operation Center that caused the aircraft and liveries button to be greyed out and not be able to install any liveries. So I came across this bug uh, when I was searching, uh, I, I was trying to install a livery and I, I had a look at my, my log, uh, the application log here, and you can see server ping failed, here you go, this is the last one I got. Server ping failed, failed to get from the website. Public key does not match pu pinned public key. That was the bug, and that was on version 8670. So I had a look on the forum, and, I, you know, I, I found, I didn't really find a solution at first. I had a look back at the forum afterwards and discovered a, a, a solution had been posted. Um, and it, it basically what it was, uh, this bug was to do with the build of PMDG Operation Center 8670. This particular build of Operation Center had a bug in it that caused this to happen. Um, and because it couldn't connect to PMDG servers, it couldn't auto-update. Um, and obviously the, the, the problem was patched, but obviously because the auto-update wasn't working, <laughs> Uh, you couldn't update it. So this is this is a tutorial on how to manually update uh, your PMDG Operation Center for any bug that may occur, whether it is this bug here specifically um, or any other bug that may occur with auto-updating uh, that is linked to the Operation Center, that is not uh, the bit I'll show you now. Um, so this is, that, that is all that. I have updated it here to uh, version 8673, uh, which is the version that had the patch fix. Uh, and you can view here. So what you do, you go into uh, your local disk, whatever that is, uh, users, and then your username, and then app data, roaming, and then PMDG. And then from there, you click on PMDG Operation Center, and you run uh, this here, Ops Center Updater. So what, I, what you normally do is just run the PMDG Operation Center, and boom, it works. Um, but in this case, you need to do, install this. And it says here, look, uh, updating, uh, obviously, I'll, I'll close down mine to show you what to do. So you click on it and it'll say downloading update. There probably isn't an update, yeah. There is not going to be an update for my PMDG operation center because I've already done this patch. You can see it's still 8673, but and that means basically, so instead of doing it automatically, you run the update yourself uh, and then it should just work, it should just be fixed. There's actually a text document, I don't know whether it contains any help as to what I did. Uh, and you can see, yeah, it loaded a patch. Uh, this was when I updated it myself, I believe. Or maybe this was from a different time. I don't know. But anyway, that is it, guys. I hope you uh, really enjoyed this little short brief tutorial if you were suffering uh, this update. The reason I decided to make this tutorial was simply, um, well, this bug, you can't actually fix it unless you do it manually. And I wouldn't have known if I hadn't found that form. I probably just, I thought it was a server issue initially, and I would have just waited for it to be fixed. Uh, if I'd wait to be fixed, I would be waiting until next year. I'd be waiting forever, you know? I, I would still be waiting to this day, so, um, and forever, basically. So the solution is to do it, you man just do it manually by running the Ops Center update. Obviously, for this to work, you need to make sure the PMDG Operation Center is not running in the background. Uh, it will tell you if it is running in the background anyway, but... Just nice and simple. Uh, but there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial has been useful. Um, so I, 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 I was really pleased about the form. It was on, I think it was on flightsim.com, uh, which is one of the, uh, you know, to, you know, if, if you if you download scenery and things for flight sim, uh, the two sites avsim and flightsim.com, you probably know them um, for that sort of thing. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video, and I hope this tutorial helped. Bye bye.